Grandmaster 006. We're back for part 16 of I Want to Get Wrecked. Last time in part 15, we finally took out the uh, Sun Spike Avoidance fight. Uh, boss, it was, uh, it was okay, actually. I think overall, it, it's definitely the one that took the longest um, this Let's Play so far, without any question. Um, split over two parts as well, no less. So, um, yeah, definitely the most difficult one um, thus far. But, um, yeah, well, it was, it, was, it was definitely enjoyable at places. Certainly that final attack, the Disco Ball one, that was super awesome. But, um, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of fun in places, a little frustrating sometimes, but um, mostly fun, and despite how long it took, I actually enjoyed that fight. <laughs> um, what I would have liked, I must admit, was coming off of the back of that, what is the, what has been the most difficult one, or the one that took the longest, was something that I could really enjoy ne coming up next. And unfortunately, we look like we've got the four-face boss from Crimson. <laughs> at least, at least I have played it before, so... Well, my nerfed version of the Crimson one, the Camellia 2, I'm hoping this is even nerfed even further than that, otherwise it's going to be ridiculously tedious, but um, yeah, this wasn't the one I was hoping for <laughs> coming off the back of the Sun Spike Avoidance, but oh well, let's just uh, let's just uh, get into it. So, um, okay, I might spend way too long at the bottom there. Right, let's just get a whole bunch of cheap shots in right at the beginning, and uh, yeah, the uh, spikes come up uh, uh, from the floor, I mean, you obviously need to get up on the platforms up above and just shoot these four faces. And just, uh, yeah, pray and hope that we get some patterns that work out quite nicely. And that we don't miss the platform. Lovely. So, um, I'm actually going to... Let's, let's just uh, have a look at the boss in there. I'm, ha I'm looking at the health bars there, and they look like they are going down quite quickly. Or at least from the point of view that they don't seem to have as anywhere near as much health as they did on the Camellia version. Camellia 2 version. So I'm also kind of hoping that... Um, so, well, yeah, that's the... Yeah, and, and the Camellia 2 version, I think, was slightly nerfed from... Um, uh, even crimson. So um, that's a good start. That is a very, very good start. Let's put it that way. Um, anyway, I should probably talk about what the hell is going on. So um, let's do that. So, uh, oops, I've shot the blue way too many times there. That looks a lot uh, down, a lot gone down quite a bit. And I'm actually, I say this from that point of view, I'm going to stay miles away from the blue one now. I'm actually amazed that um, water hasn't started, hasn't started to come out. If indeed, if that's what's, uh, you know, again, if this is going to be a, a, a pretty faithful depiction of, this is awful by the way, <laughs> of, uh, of uh, Crimson. So um, yeah, basically you've got these four faces, you have to obviously, after a certain point, or oh, right away pretty much at the beginning, you can get a few, you can get a, like a few hits in, but um, yeah, spikes start to uh, come up from the floor, so we are pretty, pretty much constrained, constrained after that to um, out of these platforms. And that yellow one looks like it's down quite a lot as well, I don't really want to hit that uh, too much now. Uh, for the moment. Um, but, uh, yeah, hit the four faces, get them down, and um, yeah. Unfortunately, obviously having to muck around on the on the platforms makes this uh, quite tedious and quite long. Um, the red one is a perennial nuisance. It kind of just keeps shooting away, so you can see if, I'm, if, I, if I sort of don't do anything now for a little bit, I don't really want to do that too much. Actually, there's a yellow one on screen. That's a bit annoying. I was hoping that the yellow one wasn't going to be down so much that it was going to leave stuff without lingering on screen, but oh well. The red one, as I said, it is a perennial shooter. So after a certain amount of time, I believe it will start shooting out other ones that start bouncing. But uh, yeah, basically, after a certain point in time, the red one kind of hones in on me, or shoots a cherry that is honing in, honing in on me. Um, the blue, uh, green one, which is the one I'm going to hit a shoot now, starts off by shooting out maybe just one bit of fruit, I think, um, from probably from one of the sides of the screen. Uh, but as you progress through, it starts to shoot out a lot more. So uh, starting from or coming from the floor and from the ceiling as well. So at the moment now, the green one is shooting it out four. Uh, so I've obviously got it down health-wise. Uh, the red one is now as well, so you can see there's one bouncing there as, as well. So um, basically what I want to do with, the, with um, the, the, um, the green one is get it down to one hit away and then leave it. The green one, um, I'm not going to test it out because I'm, I'm sure that's what's going to happen. The green one, um, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you kill it, then... Uh, the, oh my god, are you joking me? I missed the platform! And I, so, wow, I could have even done... I could have, like, even actually shot the green one there and, and we could have actually just seen what the hell went on there because now i mean this is this is the problem with this boss with this boss not that it, not that it isn't i completely it isn't iconic and it isn't ultimately probably actually a pretty decent fight it is just tedium personified and when you make an absolute pig's ear of things like i just did there and you have to restart the whole bloody thing over again it's just the most bloody tedious thing ever and I think I've shot the yellow one way too much there now that we're going to have yellow ones lingering on screen. In fact, we're going to have like at least what looks like maybe two or three bits of yellow fruit lingering around there, which is not good at all. It looks like just two, but still. Um, but anyway, yeah, these, if, when you kill the green one, the skull little helmet thing, 
uh, detaches and starts chasing you all over the place. So um, you do not want that. You want the green one to be taken down last or pretty much last, depending on um, if, if, if you can quickly kill another one you know, just before it dies. But yeah, you do not want the green one um, to die um, soon or, or one, of the, as, as one of the early ones that dies because, uh, yeah, you're just going to be in a world of trouble. You want to save the blue one, for, uh, sorry, the green one for, yeah, pretty much last. Um, so yeah, the, the plan, the, my plan would be get the green one down a fair way, uh, or, to, or to one hit, one hit to kill. Because the green, because the, the thing about the green one as well is when you're shooting it just normally, and all, and you see obviously these like four bits of fruit now are coming out from each way direction uh, for the green one. Once you dodge that wave or that attack, they uh, disappear from screen. So a bit like the blue one as well, for example. Uh, I think we've got one more hit on the on the on the green one. Yeah, so now we'll leave the green one completely alone. But the good thing about it is, as, as I say, like with the blue one, they do go away from screen. So unlike the yellow one, um, when you get it down like um, low health, you do get some stuff that lingers on screen. You do get the uh, red ones, um, as I say, that also the, a couple of ones that start bouncing around screen as well. So yeah, green and blue ones are good ones to sort of take out and you know, get down kind of initially. I think I was able to sort of do one more damage to the blue one without the, uh, what I believe will be, no I didn't, okay I've gone too far. So that's really flipping annoying because uh, yeah, when you take the blue one down so it's, um, a fair way, you also you get the, the solid platforms go away and we now have the water to deal with. So yeah, I've now got to sort of perennially kind of uh, jump and double jump. Um, and uh, well in that case since we've got the water I might as well take out the blue one because again the blue ones when the fruit uh, sort of uh, obviously appears on screen we've got now they come out from each of the, each of the, of the corners um, might as well take out trying to attack the red one as well uh, again they start off in one corner but uh, yeah once they progress obviously through and, and the health bar starts going down you start uh, you start getting a lot more out so um, oh I didn't jump I didn't jump I have no idea why I, 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 it, I, I felt like I did and for some reason it just I sank in the water and just uh, nothing happened so um, yeah that's absolutely awful and like I said again it just uh, it becomes a, an incredibly tedious boss because um, you can make like so much progress it takes so long to set up uh, and then something like that happens where I say I, the last two goes I feel like I, you know, I feel like that's completely my fault no excuse uh, really for for uh, failing up, I didn't feel like that the fruit pattern was like absolutely god awful to the point where I screwed up to it, where I had nowhere to go or anything like that. It was just uh, yeah, completely my fault. One of them I missed the platform altogether, and that time I just uh, kind of like sank through the bloody um, water and didn't uh, yeah, didn't uh, didn't double jump. So um, uh, yeah, just sort of swim in it. So um, fantastic. That is the problem with this. I'm, 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 I, I am so relieved to see that the health bar. Uh, I'll sort of, yeah, the, 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 they don't seem to have anywhere near as much health as even the Camellia uh, 2 version. I'm not going to do any more with the blue one. That looks like it's down now, and I don't want to touch that one again. Um, yeah, obviously I messed up on the previous go as well, where I got the blue one down too much. I, I said as much. I didn't want to obviously have the water. That green one's a bit annoying. didn't want to have the water on screen before I've um, taken out now what will be the yellow and the red one. Because my strategy is, as I, said, I feel like I was rambling, but um, I, I, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be spending long on this boss, at least from a let's play point of view, because I say I've just run out of things to say, and it's um, there's not much. To, when, when I run out of things to say, and I feel like I, <laughs> I can't, like I've got nothing to say anymore, you kind of know that uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a tedious boss. Um, but uh, yeah, my strategy at least: get the green one down um, to one hit, get the blue one down to one hit, but hopefully before it starts uh, shooting out that red one is, is right in the bloody way, uh, before it starts shooting out uh, the water uh, to, to, to replace the platforms. Uh, and then basically, so my next strategy, I I'm going to want to see whether the yellow one, whether anything lingers on screen anymore. The yellow ones sort of, come, again, come out in this kind of circling pattern. And I think we are at the point now where yellow ones start coming out. And I think actually that could be rather annoying. And I can't remember which side of the screen that I hit that on. I think it was on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I, I, I want the ones from the yellow one to be travelling all in the same direction. Uh, which at this point in time now is uh, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, however you want to refer to it. So uh, yeah, if, if the yellow ones are going to linger on screen, I do not want some that are going round clockwise and some that are going round anti-clockwise. I want them all going in the same direction that at least hopefully should make things easier. That does now mean, of course, that I can really only, or that I only really want to attack the yellow one when it is um, in the top left-hand corner, because that's the direction, obviously, where they're going to come out, or for the fruit they're going to come out in that direction. Please don't get me. Oh my god. So, okay, red one down. 
So my next port of call is to take out the yellow one. And hopefully we can do it. Actually, we're not going to do it here because I'm just, there's too much stuff going on the screen. And uh, yeah, and this is now where it becomes very slow and steady. And I want to take my time and um, yeah, not mess up. So yeah, I want to take the yellow one out in the top left corner to have the fruit going in the same direction. I also want to be very... It's also... There's a there's a kind of a hell of a thing where you kind of obviously want to try and make sure you're not... Please don't get me. Um, oh god, that was so risky. <laughs> where, for example, the red one I think is is, uh, is coming out like before the green. So I obviously make sure when I'm attacking the red one, I don't leave it too late um, to attack the... Um, uh, the, 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 the red one, because if I do and I hit the green one and kill it, that will be absolutely awful. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, we are almost there. Hopefully we can do it this go, because as I say, I don't have an awful lot of things to say about this boss. It's uh, not the most uh, interesting one of the lot at all. I'm actually going to attack the green one then, because I'm hoping, yes, cool, that I had enough time. The invincibility, the invincibility frames there didn't seem to go on that long either. Let's actually just get out of the boss before I accidentally press R or something, and it doesn't save. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. It took about 10 minutes or so. That's brilliant, actually, for ultimately what is the final boss of Crimson. I'm pretty happy with that. A few clumsy deaths there where I thought like I really shouldn't have died anyway, but um, yeah. I have obviously done it before in Camellia 2 and a harder version of that. That was definitely easier than the, the version in Camellia 2, which I think is easier than the version of Crimson. So, boy, well, that was definitely easier. Thank you very much for that. But I think it was the health bars. They just seemed, didn't, didn't seem to have anywhere near as much health. Um, they also seemed, the blue one didn't seem to come out with the water. Um, for, uh, qu um, or it took, it's like it took, the blue one had, like, not as much health left when the water, when the water comes out and the, the blocks go away, so that seems really generous as well. Um, the red one seems about the same, it's, it kind of keeps shooting away, and, the, and I think the amount of bouncing stuff at the end was fine. The other one sort of seemed fine again, um, about the same as well, with enough, with much swirling stuff around, but uh, yeah, I think it was the fact that the health bars um, would seem to be considerably less than what I remember in Community 2 to make that much easier. So thank you very much for that. But yeah, I have a clear strategy. Get the green one down to one hit, don't kill it. Get the blue one down to the point where the water appears. Then pummel away at the red one to kill that. You're obviously going to have some bouncing ones, but you'll avoid the homing one that keeps probably shooting. Take out the yellow one, and ideally, I want to keep hitting it once the swirling ones stay on screen in the same top corner, so they all go in the same direction. Then once the red and yellow ones are out, pummel away on the blue one. Obviously, the water's going to be there. Get the blue down to pretty much death. Uh, you know, one hit away or so, and then either attack the blue or the green one. As you saw there, I did I did attack the green one uh, before I, not as the very last one before I finished, but I was confident enough that the thing was far enough away in the corner that I wanted to rush it away because there was some invincibility frames going on, obviously, with these things. So I thought, okay, the blue one's down to one hit, I'll take out the green one, and by the time I finish mucking around with that, I can turn back around, face the blue one, kill that one, and the green one won't have any chance of getting anywhere near me. So, boy, okay, I'm happy enough with that. And uh, yeah, since that hasn't taken uh, too long at all, we can definitely, um, we'll definitely um, have a look at the what looks like the fifth and final boss in this area. You can see all the pipes there, the red, orange, yellow, green. Um, I think those are the right colours. <laughs> and we are left with just the blue one. So um, who have we got for the blue? Who have we got for the last door here? Oh boy, is this? I'm assuming this might well be the final boss, might be the first, rather than just Luigi. So I'm assuming Ultimate Luigi. It is I want to be the diverse, and it is Ultimate Luigi. Cool. Aww. Final boss, I want to be the diverse. Yay. Well, I'm cool with that because I've played it before, so I know what's coming for the most part. Um, I think there's a sort of like a trick to this first to this first bit, or at least... Okay, so you come out from the left-hand side. Maybe I can skip the beginning, can't I? Maybe it was hug, go to the right-hand side, hug this pipe. I think that's a safe spot. And then move slightly away. More away than that. Fine. Blur. But anyway, yeah, we've got, uh, yeah, Final Boss Miners of the Verse, Fa fantastic. Um, I, I enjoyed this fight quite a bit. Oh, you've done three? Does that mean you're going to come from the right-hand side of the screen? Okay, so we need to pay attention to how many waves at the top you do. I thought it was two. Maybe you do three every now and then. Okay, so if that's three, okay, yeah, move away, and then we can do that. Okay, so this time again, if it's two, you'll be from the left-hand side of the screen, and I didn't move far enough away from the pipe. Fantastic. And I have played this, believe me, despite my enormous screw-ups on this first first little bit. Okay, and that was two, yeah. I heard a little woo from Luigi or something. <laughs> there we go again, so from the right-hand side this time, cool. 
You can actually uh, hit these blocks if you so wish and get some coins. Not that it makes really any difference, it's a cosmetic thing. Okay, so I'm going to get the timing right for this. I did get the timing right for the jump, but uh, for the jump over to avoid the, been rolling around the floor, but unfortunately I jumped so high that I double jumped into him on the ceiling. That wasn't, uh, wasn't especially clever. Okay, so three this time again? Okay. So hopefully now there's two this time. Yes, cool. And you die in two hits here. Fine. I think I want to be on the left-hand side of the screen, if I remember correctly, that puts me on the left-hand side of the screen for this bit. Okay, so this is, uh, I mean, the final boss of Violet a bit of Violet Diverse is sort of a callback to all the other bosses. Um, so this is one, Arr! this one is um, a callback to a pig boss that basically just rolls around the screen, <laughs> uh, along the floor, the walls, uh, and the ceiling, really, really quickly, um, and it increases its speed uh, every time you, every time you hit it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have things like a uh, top man that's going to refer back to, and a painter boss. I jumped too high again into the bloody ceiling bomb while he's rolling around on it. Ugh. Can we... I mean, I'm pleased and hopefully seems to have got the timing. I didn't hear the noise there. Was I talking over it and just... Um, yeah, that was, that was dumb. <laughs> Let me at least maybe listen out. So I didn't hear it that time, which means presumably he's going for a third one. And, um, okay, messing up uh, a lot on the first phase here. This is not good. I swear I had, a, like, a... something of a fairly decent strategy. All I thought was a decent strategy for this. Yeah, this should now be a safe spot. And the little away should be, should be, yeah, should be a safe spot as well. Yeah. Let's not keep messing up on the, on the first phase, because I keep messing up on the pig one. <laughs> yeah, I, I got... I'm getting the time... Yeah, that was... that. Oh, my God. I... I, <laughs> I had the... I had the timing right, or it seems to be the timing right for the... Like jumping over him because he does I say he moves off incredibly quickly and um or just sort of obviously like I, there's no like immediate tell if you will it's almost like you can't even necessarily go off a music cue because it depends on how long you spend on the first bit so it's sort of like listing out for his legs to go and then and then kind of moving off but at the moment my timing absolutely sucks um on dealing with that so i moved away from the edge of the pipe i don't know why um yeah wow was, um, it's a bit of a disaster at the moment. <laughs> I don't know why I keep going for this coin. There's absolutely no point to it whatsoever. I've shown it off, I need to keep showing it off. So, yeah, wait for him to do that and then move off. Maybe a single jump is a, is a better thing here than the, what I'm doing as a double jump. And I, yeah, and that's, yeah, and I didn't, I didn't get the timing right for the second one. I, um, he stood there, obviously, after I did a certain amount of damage, um, before the second part of that uh, phase where he starts shooting out fireballs as well. But, um, yeah, jumped way too early. Um, straight into it. Yeah, lovely. Haven't got the timing down for the pig, uh, for the, for the, um, you know, the callback to the pig uh, fight at all. Okay, that seems to be better. This, I just haven't got the timing right for at all. Can we please get this phase done? This would be lovely. Thank you. That's not that bad. Yeah. Okay, and we transition to painter phase. Okay. So you're basically going to switch between the two easels um, from the on the uh, bottom of the screen and the top of the screen. I'm only going to focus on just attacking him while he's on the bottom of the sc uh, screen and not worry too much about getting up to attack because I feel like it's uh, that's uh, that's probably the worst attack of the bunch. Although maybe not so when you're when you're uh, on on the ground. If you do that one from the ceiling, that can be a right raw pain in the neck, and I don't like that one at all. <laughs> I feel like we're close here, so I'm actually going to yes, go up and uh, yeah, get you get you one hit there. Cool. Okay, the easier one was a lot a lot easier than the um Whoa well, my god, that's a, a weird bounce pattern. <laughs> yeah, the easel easel one was easier than the um uh, the pig one. Okay, fine. Okay, so how we have a call, have a call back to the uh, top man fight, so uh, that's a bit uh, annoying. Um, so yeah, he basically bounds around the screen, uh, you shoot him, he shoots out these fireballs, uh, and we're all okay. So first point in time you come down and run across the screen, then the next time you just disappear off screen, down quickly, and then dash, yeah, cool. I mean, I feel like I'm quite familiar with that one of the diverse as well. I do actually quite like this, uh, this uh, fight, the final fight as well. So um, yeah, I was, yeah, I had, I had an absolute shocker on the first like couple of phases, which was absolutely dreadful. I feel like I feel like I'm yeah, reasonably well versed, and I want to, you know, I want to be the diverse. So yeah, I'm hoping it shouldn't take uh, ultimately too long. What we got next? Okay, back to the back to back to here again. Oh god, I forgot about that attack. Ding it. So I want to be on the ground to avoid this wave, and then I want to be up here because the screen's going to flip. We'll get that coin because why not? So yeah, I want to be here, because Mario now is going to come across the floor four times, is it? Three, four, and then I want to move, because he's going to do that. And then those are going to rise up, cool. 
And then we want to get to the floor. And then we just want to take out Mario and Luigi when they uh, start whizzing in. Yeah, wow, once I got past the first... So, okay, so I need to jump now to avoid Mario when he comes in. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, okay, you're... Oh, that's a bit annoying. Okay, so you don't... You're not that high up. Okay. Well, I'm hoping with the, with the health bar being fairly low down here that I haven't spent too long now on Mario, that I'm going to run out of time. Because, uh, yeah, this is fairly timed. Okay, good, fine. Because, uh, yeah, basically Luigi comes down from giant Luigi comes down from the ceiling, and if you don't take him out quickly enough, you're going to be stuffed, because his sprite's going to cover the entire screen. But, uh, thankfully... You know, I don't think I died past the pig, past the pig phase. That was uh, incredible. <laughs> that felt, again, a bit easier than, than the actual fight environment to be, the, to be the diverse. I guess that makes perfect sense, given that everything else seems to be nerfed. Crimson was definitely nerfed. Um, I, I was assuming Sunspike Avoidance was nerfed, because I don't recall... Um, let's get out of here. I, I don't recall... I, I, oh, sorry, recall? I, I wouldn't have thought that... Good, the door has opened. I wouldn't have thought... That the, I can't move. Oh, okay, we're gonna go. Okay, now now I can move. Now I can move once. Now I can move once the screen centres and tells me that the tells me that the door's open. Uh, <laughs> shows me that the door's open. Then we can then we can move. But um, yeah, sorry, um, no, recall's not the right word there at all. I wouldn't have thought that the um, sunspike avoidance would have been that would have been that quote unquote easy in the original game, given the, the apparent difficulty of what I believe sunspike to be. So I'm assuming that's somewhat nerfed. It felt like the Mega Man medley one was nerfed as well. Um, that went down like about three minutes. Admittedly, I had played that before already, so possibly. Um, a Jazz Hand Demon one, no idea. Although, again, seriously, I feel like I feel like they've all been they've all been nerfed to some degree. Uh, and my progress on stage six feels all oh, oh, before we get to the, before we get to the door at the moment seems incredible. These five doors here, that middle boss, the Sun's Like Avoidance, has taken longer than the other four combined. Admittedly, I have already played three of the other bosses, and I, uh, the Jazz Hand Team is one excluded from that, but the Mega Man Medley, the Crimson Final Boss, and the Ultimate Luigi from Mario Diverse, but though, the, yeah, those four bosses took fewer time than the, 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 the uh, Sunspike Avoidance one. That's, wow. <laughs> and yeah, I would assume it too has been nerfed, given that I... It feels to me like the other th the, the three that I'd already played before have been nerfed, and the Jazz Hands Demons one again for stage six seems like it's. I don't want to say these bosses have felt too easy, but because uh, uh, I'm delighted to have these done, but uh, yeah, wow, the ones I've played before I sort of seem to appreciate it, that they've been nerfed. So I'm assuming the Sunspike one had as well. I can only imagine how difficult that might have been. Yeah, in its original game, because that took me about an hour and a half or so here. Not admittedly too long, but. Oi, maybe there are no checkpoints in the original. I don't know. That would be absolutely horrific. Who knows? I really don't care. <laughs> we had the fight. We got the. We've beaten the. Uh, got, oh, uh, the seal is broken. You conquered the five guardians, but what are they guarding? So yeah, we've beaten the. Um, well, yeah, the five guardians. Now that we know that. Now we know their proper name. What indeed have we got? So we're into another uh, area now. Can't go off screen that way. Always worth checking left. Admittedly, that's more for sort of like um, <laughs> Mega Man games and secret sort of stuff on other platforms. But yeah, always worth checking left. Mag Mammal 2 is probably what's taught me that. <laughs> oh, don't you get it? You're the villain here. You're not the good guy in this game. Uh, do I press enter to scroll that along? No. Okay, maybe just keep moving right then. Is it going to do anything? Okay, murderer, torturer, monster, evil. Do you see a pattern, kid? Okay, we're going to keep moving right. If we have another boss, I'm probably not going to continue on. Okay. Brace yourself, hero. You have left me no choice. Okay, so we can't go to the right, so we're going back to the left now, presumably. I can't really seem to do anything else. Oh, okay. And we, okay, and we're into, we're into an arena. Okay, so, you know what? This is going to probably be a slightly shortened one. I feel like we're getting into, um, I don't know, finale sort of territory? Maybe we'll see who it is. Okay, I'm slightly worried about this music sort of being in the background, because that feels like it could end up with some sort of a copyright strike. Okay, we've got TJ. Okay. You know what? Let's have, like, one go and see what's going on here. But um, I'm not going to do too much on this, I don't think. Do I have to actually have to attack you? Yeah, we'll have this one go just so we can, just so I can, uh, as, a, as a first go, see what happens. Because like, at the moment, <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's going to be too bad. Do I just sort of start here? I do, okay. And with no music in the background, because I'm so, yeah, slightly worried about a copyright strike on that song. But, um, yeah, okay. Well, TJ, so we look like we've got one of the uh, two creators 
uh, of the game, although the one being Clayson, um, as a boss. So, um, yeah, this feels like it's going to be kind of finale e, <laughs> which is not a word. But, um, yeah, we're going 25 minutes or so. So, uh, yeah, I don't feel like getting into what feels like, yeah, a finale type thing. We've got, yeah, we've got TJ, I'm assuming we'll have Clayson at some point in time. Um, um, yeah, maybe they'll even double up, I don't know. That sounds like it was something for something that could, that something that would be... Something that could happen, yeah, fight them individually and then double up, I don't know. But um, yeah, we're 25 minutes gone and we're trying to keep these to about half an hour, 40 from four minutes or so, 40 minutes or so, so yeah. Don't, don't definitely want to get into this now, we will save this for next time. But um, yeah, happy with the progress of this video. I was, yeah, slightly worried that Crimson, the Crimson Face one was just going to get me bogged down, I was just going to get incredibly frustrated with it and it's just going to take ages. Uh, but um, no, thankfully that was, um, yeah, seemed heavily nerfed. And um, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy the I enjoy Ultimate Luigi if I want to be the, be the diverse. And uh, yeah, not dying after the pig phase. <laughs> Just kind of, uh, yeah, again, shows that it's probably been nerfed. But um, yeah, obviously very, very, fairly familiar with it. I feel like, to be honest, that um, the, easel, the easel attack there can, can really kind of screw me over sometimes. But um, the top man bit is very easy. And the final bit actually is pretty straightforward as well, once you know what's coming. And obviously I did. So yeah, very happy with the, uh, with the progress here. Two bosses out of the way in uh, reasonably quick succession. And uh, yeah, looking forward to what feels like a finale. Not just from the fact that it's TJ, one of the creators, but he's, he, yeah, but um, yeah, just the general feel of it all. <laughs> feels like we're approaching very much endgame. So um, yeah, probably not going to have it done completely next time, but um, yeah, I guess we'll just see, uh, see how things go. I will leave you there for next time, and um, yeah, hope to see you for TJ. Until then, though, cheerio.